Life sometimes come at you fast Tragedies make your life unravel You feel like you wanna give up and stay locked down Even when your heart is shattered You still got a life to live You still got a life to live So don't give up We are beautiful miracles We are beautiful miracles We are beautiful miracles So don't Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me on my podcast, Beautiful Tragedy. If you like what you're hearing, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a term that's a real hang-up for a lot of people who are grieving, and that is moving on. And every time we're in our support group and our therapist says the words moving on, almost all of us cringe because the thought of moving on without our child is very difficult, and I don't want to do that. Um, It's a a huge trigger for a lot of people, and I'm not sure if it's because as grievers, we know that our society wants us to move on and not stay in pain. We just know it's very uncomfortable for people to be with someone while they're in pain. And for me, the thought of moving on seems like it's leaving our loved one behind, and obviously none of us wants to do that. And I sometimes I think to myself, well, why do I have to move on? I love my son just as much as anyone else loves their child. Mine just isn't here. I can't give him a hug and I can't talk to him. I will never stop loving him, so I will never stop talking about him. Every new season is a reminder of what will not be with our family. Our family unit is forever missing a member. The truth of the matter is, is that we have been forced to move on, and that feels wrong on every level. Life continues to happen whether we like it or not. Sometimes we have to go back to work. We have to get back to the real world, and it is painful to do that when your world has fallen off its axis. Life has forced us to move on, and that is probably one of the most painful parts of child loss for me personally. Um, some Another term that seems to settle just a little bit better is moving forward. One of the most difficult parts about grieving the loss of a child in particular is that life keeps on moving even when your world has been shattered. Moving forward is something that happens whether we want it to or not. Obviously, some people get stuck in grief and and can stay stuck. It's totally understandable when a person gets stuck because it's painful to go through every phase of grief. Learning how to love people where they are is such a gift. Having little to no expectations of someone who is heavily grieving can be hard to do, but it is such a welcome sentiment. Trying to understand that each person is trying to find their footing again after their life has been irreparably damaged really means so much. And honestly, suggesting to someone that they should move on feels very dismissive of their pain. I mean, really, how could someone ever move on from the death of their child? They're learning how to carry it, but they will never move on. I have a very simple ask of you if you are companioning a griever through their grief journey. Please don't tell anyone to move on. It's it's dismissive, and it's actually very painful. Personally, I understand that being around a person who is grieving is not easy, and it's very uncomfortable. But together, I think we can learn how to do a little better when it comes to grief. Letting someone know that you see them and you know that they might be struggling with how to carry their grief and continue to live their lives is so powerful. I sometimes feel that I have come to some level of acceptance about Jackson's death. I've also learned that I can accept accept something, but I don't have to like it. And some days I feel acceptance only in knowing that he's not coming back. And other days, I'm back in total denial. There's no rhyme or reason for it. Sometimes I feel like my brain sort of plays tricks on me, like lets me think that it didn't really happen. And I have no control over of what those days are going to look like. My hope will always be that with me speaking my truth, that we can learn how to do better. Um, And I truly believe we want to help people improve their lives if we can. And I don't have all the answers I'm not the end-all be-all. I'm just someone who's speaking about something that's a very difficult subject. But as I've said in many other episodes, um, when something's hard, 
It's also very important. So what I'm talking about is hard, but it's important. And I just hope that um, through this podcast that I've shared at least one thing that's maybe helped you think a little bit differently about um, someone who's grieving um, and more specifically someone who has lost a child. So that's all I have for today. And as always, I just believe we're all just walking each other home. We're all just trying to figure this out and we can do that together. Thank you.